A vessel displaces 14,500 tons if floating in salt water up to her winter load line. Now let us understand this part of the problem. Suppose this is the winter load line mark here. And vessel is floating up to this winter load line mark in salt water and here is the water line. Well, we need to find what is the underwater volume. Well, that can be calculated by this formula that displacement is nothing but underwater volume multiplied by relative density. Well, you know that D density is equal to mass over volume. So, mass is equal to volume into density. However, we can find the displacement as underwater volume and instead of density we can use relative density that is how this formula has come displacement is equal to underwater volume into relative density now let us read the second part of this problem if she is in a dock water now where the vessel is in dock if she is in a dock water of rd 1.010 with her winter load line on the surface of the water well from this we conclude that underwater volume is the same whether the vessel is in dock water or vessel is in salt water underwater volume is same because the winter load line mark this winter load line mark is at the water line so first we need to find the underwater volume well that can be calculated like this that underwater volume is displacement divided by rd and displacement is given which is 414500 and rd is 1.025 well we'll take up to three places 1416.3415 cubic meter now the same vessel is in dock water let me put it here it is in dock water and she is floating in dock water with the same winter load line up to this water line so the underwater volume will remain same this underwater volume will remain same so let us find the dock displacement in dock water of rd 1.010 is going to be underwater volume into relative density well uh, this will be 1428.8049 it is simply we multiply this with 1.010 and we get this product now maximum displacement is 14500 and the present displacement well vessel is in dock water of rd 1.010 the present displacement is 14287.8049 so we can subtract maximum minus present displacement that is the weight we can load well we can just round it off so this is the amount of cargo we can load amount of amount of cargo which can be loaded